And at this time here on the 757 at 6, joined by one of the all-time greats from Old Dominion University. You know her as the Hall of Famer, Lady Magic, Nancy Lieberman, with us here on ESPN Radio 94.1. Nancy, how you doing this weekend? Uh, I am great, and I'm in Knoxville, and I'm probably going to watch Tisha get where she rightly belongs in the Hall of Fame. Yes, Tisha Pinachero, one of the Old Dominion greats like yourself, going into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame there in Knoxville. Uh, tell us what it was like for you to watch after your great decorated career at the Lady Monarchs do what Tisha did and take the program back to the national championship game. You know, it, it was pretty unbelievable because we're a very proud program. Uh, we're one of the winningest programs in the history of women's basketball. And then to see Tisha lead her team, you know, against Tennessee, um, it, w- it just made us all happy because we want to be known as the best. And uh, she and, and her classmates, you know, Mary and Nairi, everybody, you know, Machanguana, they were phenomenal. So Old Dominion, when I walk around even today, I mean, people know about Old Dominion women's basketball. What struck you the first time you watched her play about Tisha's game and how it was different from other players? Well, the first time I heard about Tisha, Wendy called me and she goes, you're not going to believe this. You got to see this girl play. You guys are about the same size and y'all remind me of each other. Is that correct? I'm talking Wendy standing right here. And I came to speak at our banquet and, you know, Tisha and I met for the first time. You know, she joked around that, you know, her you believe me, Matt. her first words in English were Lieberman. <laughs> 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 so, um, you know, we just, we had a bond, and then I got a chance to see her play, and she was better than advertised. And I'm just so proud of what she's done and what she did, you know, in college. I believe she's still the all-time leader in assists in, in the history of the WNBA. Um, I would have given my little pinky to coach her in Detroit. You know, she um, she was one draft pick away, and I, I would have loved to have had her. I think she went with the second or third pick, and I had the, the third or fourth pick. In, in 1998, but that would have been amazing to coach her. Well, and both you and her games were predicated on making your teammates better. How much of a joy was that for you? I mean, knowing you got the, the nod to Irvin Magic Johnson with Lady Magic, then for her to come along and do things that were, in a lot of ways, the same type of quality. Well, she saw, she saw basketball for winning and competitiveness, but she also saw it as entertainment, like Irvin, like myself, like you know anybody who's uh, a, a great passer. But you can't just pass the pass. You have to pass to set people up for success. And she's done that throughout her whole career, and that's why, you know, Old Dominion was an elite university at that time when she was there during her four years. And then to see, you know, to see her go on beyond that and and be an agent and and to see how she handles other people's careers uh, is fantastic. And I'm just glad that, you know, throughout her whole career since we met, uh, we have been inseparable sisters, and we're always there for each other. And I'm proud to be in Knoxville uh, for her. And ironically, I'm getting the Trailblazer Award today, which just means I'm old. And they had to give it to somebody who is old. Well, uh, you certainly are an all-time great. We're chatting with Nancy Lieberman, the ODU Lady Monarch superstar and Hall of Famer with us here on the 757 at 6 on ESPN Radio 94.1, a celebration in Knoxville all weekend long for the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame and Tisha Pinachero going in, and rightfully so, her great place in the game of women's basketball, both at Old Dominion and the WNBA as well. And as you said, Nancy, a sports agent now. And how critical is it, too, for, for young ladies and girls out there to see you make an impact on the court, but also beyond that when you're playing career is done and touching lives having that piece involved how big is that well it's huge because you you just don't want to have your your 10 years you did your thing and then you you did something else Uh, somebody like tisha you knew she was going to have her her thumbprint on the uh, the history of the game in some other capacity you know like when i uh, left old dominion i played pro ball but then i started doing tv and then got into coaching and, you know, she and I have talked about that. I mean, she loves being around the game. Uh, she knows the game, like the, the top people in her profession. And she's helping navigate people's, uh, young girls' careers. She could have been a great coach. Uh, I would love to have her coaching with me in the Big Three this year. It would be great to have her there. But, you know, she's just carved her own uh, historic path. And I'm just really proud of her.
Last two for you, Nancy, and I thank you for your time. Uh, what kind of uh, celebrations for you with Old Dominion? I mean, you see Wendy, Larry, you see Tisha Penichero. The program itself meant so much to you, I know, in your life and the days of Ann Donovan and Mary Ann Stanley. Um, Kevin, this gathering, seeing Wendy and Tisha, what's it mean to you? It means everything. You know, once you're a monarch, you're a monarch for life. We're, we're very proud. Uh, we're thicker than thieves. And, you know, matter of fact, uh, when I was working out, I was on the phone with Tommy Conrad and Wes Locker, who is the mascot. And uh, a week ago, I was in Florida with Ronnie Valentine. And we, we, you know, we went to breakfast. So we all stay connected to one another, uh, whether it's Wendy or Marianne or it, it doesn't matter who. You know, we could not see each other for five years. And here we are again. We're together. We have stories. We have memories. And more importantly, we have love, and we have a lot of history of winning. And then Tisha is a very, very important part of, you know, carrying on that tradition. Final one, you've done so much in your decorated career from playing to coaching. Uh, what is uh, Nancy Lieberman up to these days? Still broadcasting games? No, I, uh, I was in the NBA with the Sacramento Kings uh, from 2015 to 2017. Uh, I was the second, I guess, female hired in the NBA and my mother got sick, and she lives in Florida. She almost died. So I left Sacramento, and by the grace of God, uh, I was hired last year by Ice Cube to be a head coach in the Big Three, and with Julia Serving and Gary Payton and Rick Barry and, uh, you know, Hall of Fame coaches, and uh, Dr. J is coaching as well. And my team, uh, Power, we won the, the Big Three championship uh, last August, and uh, it's all in former NBA players. Like I had Birdman and Katino Mobley and Big Baby Davis, Corey Maggette, Quentin Richardson. Uh, the guys who are playing in the Big Three are enormous athletes, and um, it's three on three. We sell out 15, 16, 17,000 every night, and the games are on CBS uh, starting the 22nd every Saturday and Sunday. And to say that my boss is Ice Cube is absolutely a blessing. It's, it's really cool, and he is one of the, the nicest, smartest, kindest people I've ever been around. That is really cool. The great Nancy Lieberman with us here. Lady Magic on the 757 at 6 on ESPN Radio 94.1. A celebration of the women's basketball greats at the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in Knoxville, Tennessee this weekend as Tisha Pinachero, one of the ODU Lady Monarch greats, goes into the hall. Nancy, thank you so much. Best wishes to you in the Big Three. We'll be watching and we'll keep in touch, all right? Okay, thank you so much. You bet. Nancy Lieberman, the Hall of Famer with us from Old Dominion University here on the 757 at 6 on ESPN Radio 94.1.